get over yourself because like I'm doing my job and your job and I'm killing it so I don't need you <laughs> guys so it is day two I'm on 12 floor again as long as I have a good day that's all I care about but I'm like I just like hate like switching back and forth because they're two different vibes like Bella and Gigi are great but they're two different vibes you know As you can see, clearly two different vibes. Neither one is better than the other, just two different vibes. That is how I feel about the two floors I work on. Two different floors, but just, ugh, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna do great today. And just as long as I have a great team, I'll be fine. Here goes nothing. Once again, here early at work because I wanna see what's up with my patients. I like to write down what med passes I need to give for each of them, and I like to write down each and every med, just to make sure. We love it when the night nurse cleans and saves a Dynamap and a computer for us. All right guys, I just got reports, so I'm gonna go get my meds now. I'm in the med room, and let's have a great day. As you can see, the med room where we get our medications is not as big, and this information is going to be important for the next part of our story. Hey guys, so I just had like a really weird interaction with one of my coworkers. Um, one of our med rooms is really small, so sometimes we bring the cart in, so I did that. And then like he opened the door and he was like, we gotta stop bringing the, these like things inside. Like I get like so scared and like, cause he slammed it and I'm like, okay. And um, he was just like really weird about it. I like stopped and I was like, do you need something? And he was like, just one med. So I stopped, I was nice enough to stop. And then he went to go get his one med, even though I was pulling meds. And then when he left, like I went back into the med room and I do, did my thing and got my meds. And during the middle of it, like he comes in and he's like, I'm sorry, like I'm having a really bad time in my personal life the last few months or something, he said. And he was like, um, I'm sorry that I took it out on you. And I was like, it's fine, don't worry about it. Like, it's not that really, it's, it wasn't really a big deal. But like, I appreciated that like, he saw that he was doing something like rude. Don't be don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding me? I Stop. swear to God. Stop. And he apologized. So that takes a big person. But like, I just hope that he's gonna be okay. Like I told him, don't worry about it and stuff, so. I just want to be clear that the working title of this video, Dealing with Crappy Coworkers, is not pointed toward this nurse. This nurse in particular has always been very nice and helpful to me ever since I started. This video is pointed towards some other coworker of mine. So stick around to find out who it is, honey. So we're circling back to the last conversation. I don't like to bring my personal life into work. I don't even really hang, I don't hang out with my coworkers outside of work either, but yeah. I try to like be considerate of other people, especially cause we're such in a stressful situation being a nurse, you know? But I appreciated him like, saying sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry? That's a big thing. So I hope that like whatever he's going through, he'll be okay. But my last patient I just went to, she only had one med. I was like, yes, I wish all my patients just had one med. But like apparently her husband ran her over with the car. Apparently her husband ran her over with the car. Apparently her husband ran her over with the car. <laughs> just use a gun honey like hello that was crazy i can't believe that i think it was an accident but i didn't like read her notes or whatever but that's crazy hey guys we're eating lunch now i have my salad because i just felt like it was a salad vibe today and it was a salad vibe yesterday we know how much you guys love it 
eating a salad with us and just shaking a salad. I'm upset because Whole Foods not is not carrying my ginger salad dressing anymore and it's really upsetting. But I got the um, Olive Garden salad dressing at Costco. So that's what I'm using right now. Hey guys, so I just have to vent because there is this like nurse tech who um, she's like been here for like 30 years and she's like an older lady and she's like and I oh and like no one likes to work with her no one wants to work with her she's just very rude and abrasive and then like one of my patients it came on my spectral link like, saying that she was in the toilet so I helped her out of the toilet because I'm like I'm not above doing tech work and then I um, helped her into the bed and then that one tech who is like super rude she was like yeah. sitting there on her phone and I'm like lady you're like so un helpful like no wonder why no one wants to work with you oh and like another patient that I have with that like he told the doctor that he was thinking about hurting himself last night but he is not thinking about that anymore so like we're trying to like you know get him less depressed and like pick up his mood and all that stuff and like she said that she went in there to like try to get him changed and like do all these things with him but he refused and I'm like, really? Because I went in there and I changed him. I helped him brush his teeth and open the blinds and all that stuff. So I'm like, what are you doing, lady? Honestly, what the Bitch! Bitch! Hashtag when you're 30 and everything hurts. <sighs> okay, guys, we're almost there. Kind of. It's like two something. But like, this tag is like, she's like giving me like the cold shoulder i'm like honey if you knew what it takes to like be a good tag you would know what it is to be a good tag but you don't so it's like honey maybe if you had business that you were passionate about then you would know what it takes to run business but you don't so don't even act like you know what i'm talking about get over yourself because like i'm doing my job and your job and i'm killing it so i don't need you all right guys well if you have seen my last video i was talking about how my nurse manager was telling me and my coworkers that there might be someone giving out flyers of some sort but um my one of our bosses was like oh don't be surprised if like people come up to you like with flyers or blah 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 he was like really vague about it but no one came up to me with flyers at the parking garage so this lady who apparently works for the same hospital I work at, she was giving out barcodes, trying to do a survey of how this hospital that I work at should do better and everything of that nature. It was very weird. Um, I was never approached by her, but some of my coworkers were. And apparently this chick is pretty famous on social media. Hey guys, almost at the end of the day, um, so I was helping one of my patients who was like kind of suicidal last night, but he's like so much better now, um, and I, that's the one patient that I have with that like tech who's like basically, and is lazy, and she saw me like helping him and changing him and, you know, getting him ready for bed and she didn't say anything. It's just sad because like we're dealing with like people, you know, and like she just doesn't care. It's really upsetting, but... Like, I'm really happy that, like, I got to help him out because I felt like I made a difference and that's what nursing is about, you know? But some people just need to retire because it's, like, being nicer to the patient, especially in their most vulnerable time, like, it doesn't take that much energy. So, just over her. This negative energy needs to get away. Rihanna. Thanks for your help today. So just Hi. a backstory about this clip. That bitch ass tech was in front of me while I was on the computer and the other nurse tech that I was working with that day, let's call her Rihanna. Rihanna was leaving and I was like, hey Rihanna, thank you so much for all your help. And I said it l very loud enough to, I know that that bitch in, right in front of me could hear what I was saying because you know what bitch, you were not helpful. So I just wanted to like make a point that the other tech, Rihanna, was killing it, and she really helped me out that day, unlike that lazy <laughs> And I said it right in front of her and really loud. Because if you want to, like, be a bitch, then, honey, I could do it ten times better. Hey, 
is, oh my god, it's like six something. <sighs> last day, three out of three. I am so f***ing tired. We went out for dinner last night, impromptu date night. Today is the last day of my three in a row. We're gonna get it done. I just wanted to be over, I'm so tired. So I just got my assignment, um, seven patients. Ugh, so annoying, whatever. I better not have a discharge. Ugh, great, of course I have a discharge. But at least I don't have that. And I got to work with one of my coworkers who I haven't worked with in a while, and she's like, I love her. She is the moment, honey. She's great. But, um, God, this break room smells so bad. It just smells awful. It's giving us, like, straight up trash. But anyway, let's just get it together. <laughs> How are you feeling, love? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Good. I'm gonna get your vital signs, okay? How did you sleep last night? No, I was sleeping last night. Oh no, what happened, do you think? I was just crazy. Hmm. Okay. Oh. When I'm pulling my medications for my patients, sometimes I just can't believe how many medications these people are on. They're upwards to like 10 to like 15 meds, it feels like. I take a few multivitamins and vitamins and minerals here and there every day, but these people are taking like hypertension, cardiac meds, psych meds. It's just crazy how many meds people are on. Like. I might be a nurse, but I definitely am into more holistic and healthier alternatives than anything Big Pharma, to be honest. Hey guys, so we just finished Med Pass a few minutes ago. Yeah. It's going all right so far. I have a discharge, but I think they want to leave a little bit later. They said two o'clock, but the people that are helping the patient are supposed to come in the house or something like later on. So I'm like, honey, keep it little, as late as you can because I don't want an admission on a Sunday. This is a Sunday. This is God's day, girl. Okay. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. So, um, I'm just ready to have a drink tonight with my man and have this three in a row over, guys. So let's just get it done. Guys, so I'm done with my AccuCheck. Um, that neck is really trying it today. It's funny because she's just like being such a already. And thank God I don't have any patients with her. But anyway, so at the nurse's station, like I had plugged my computer and I was charging. And she was like, excuse me. I was like, I swear to God, I'm really trying to like bite my tongue right now, but I'm like, I almost wanted to say like, go over it, you know? And she was like, before that, she was telling people she, she, I'm, she was saying, I'm so hungry, like, I'm getting hangry, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bitch, you're just moody, period. You're an old, miserable lady. I'm like, stop projecting your anger onto everybody. Like, everyone that I'm working with today is amazing besides her, and I'm like... I'm th thankful we have a really great team today, and I don't have any patience with her because she is useless, so. So tell me why my supervisor, who I love, um, wasn't by her phone, so the secretary asked me if I can take a critical lab and the patient has COVID and I was taking care of that patient yesterday and the other day. So I'm not exhibiting any symptoms, but that doesn't mean anything. So see, this is why bedside nursing is so like risky and people don't understand how crazy it is. Thank God I don't have him today, but like he didn't come in with COVID, but the patient was saying that like his family brought it. And I'm like, see, this is why you have to wear a mask in the room because the patient is coming in for one thing, but now he has to get treated for another. And this guy is really critical. And that's really upsetting. <sighs> so over it. Get me out of here. All right, guys. 
We're almost there. I'm ready for my drink. Home stretch. <sighs> we got this. I discharged my lady, it was so nice. She was like the nicest person. Hopefully I don't get an admission, it's ready for something. But I don't want to hold my breath because anything can happen. But let's just stay positive. No admissions. I don't want that. No one wants that. Guys, we are almost done. I'm ready, honey. I'm ready to get the fuck out of here. Have a drink. Watch some Netflix. And just decompress for a few days. This thing's crazy, guys. Like, if you're wanting to be a nurse, like, you better like think about it twice so <sighs> but we're almost done did all my wound care i literally did everything um ready to get a report so now it's just the waiting game and let's just hope that these next few minutes are gonna be okay because i don't want any surprises hey guys we are out of here all right guys that's all i have for you today sorry it was an impromptu stopping of the video but when i was doing my goodbye in the elevator the elevator stopped and someone is about to go in the elevator so i was like all right gotta stop <laughs> because that would have been embarrassing but um i'll catch you guys in the next one bye